Playing intense and skill demanding games can be really stressful and overall mentally consuming. Games that really make you dig deep and put everything you've got into the controller or keyboard that you're playing with call for a lot of efforts in hopes for that satisfying dopamine rush achieved from passing whatever challenge you're facing. Like take Elden Ring for example, literally the first boss Mark of the Fell Omen probably made a sh ton of people going in blind want to blow their brains out from frustration because of how hard he was to beat. But I can guarantee, once all of those people finally found a way to strategize beating him, that victory probably felt better than, than crack or something, I don't know. So playing video games in an intense and enduring way is definitely one way to enjoy them no doubt, but it's undoubtedly not the only way that they can be enjoyed, you know, especially if you're looking for the opposite of that and just want to feel chill and relaxed while playing. And for me, that game is still Disney Dreamlight Valley. Now I've talked about this game more than once before on the channel as it's one of the few games that I can boot up after a long day of work and just enjoy the bright colors and non-demanding gameplay of Disney's latest city building title. Now this game was released in early access back in September and just in that short amount of time, the game's gained something of a diehard fan base that's mixed with Disney enthusiasts and people who farm pumpkin gardens for insane amount of in-game money. Seriously, somebody needs to teach me these methods. The game lets you take on easygoing quests from your favorite Disney characters, all the while rebuilding a land called Dreamlight Valley to your liking and housing the Disney characters as you meet them on your journey. It's not the craziest title out there and definitely not the best of its genre, but like I said, it's, it's just a title that you can you know use to unwind and forget about the troubles of life on any platform you decide to play game. Except while this game is pretty much on all current platforms including last gen consoles, there's an ongoing issue with a certain version of the game that may or may not affect which one players decide to play it on. That version that I'm talking about is the PlayStation side of consoles for Dreamlight Valley as it's been known for a while that the cross save feature available for every other version of the game is not available on Sony's hardware. Now, for those unaware, Cross Save for Dreamlight Valley is a feature that allows you to sign into your GameLoft account and save your game progress to the cloud so that it can be accessed on hypothetically any other platform that the game is on. All you would need to, you know, do is sign in again and all of your creepy Disney character side eye activity will be right there where you left it. Except since the titles launched, PlayStation 4 and 5 were exempt from these cross save features which left a lot of fans confused as to why that was because having this feature just in case would have been ideal if players decided to you know switch hardware and keep their progress. Well, recently Gameloft themselves finally broke silence on the situation and let their fans in on a little tea as to why this was the case for PlayStation. According to Gameloft on Twitter, they claim, unfortunately due to platform restrictions, PlayStation doesn't support cross-platform play. Therefore, it won't be possible to synchronize your progress from other platforms or consoles with your PlayStation account progress. Now, up to this point, there was just the assumption that either something about Sony's hardware couldn't support cross save or, or you know, maybe there was just an issue on Gameloft's side that prevented it from allowing the feature, but with this new info, it shows that it's only PlayStation simply not allowing for the mechanic to be done. Now as to why PlayStation wouldn't allow for cross save has been publicly stated yet, but I find it a little weird seeing that there's a plethora of cross platform multiplayer titles, so it shows that Sony isn't completely shut off to the idea of you know cross platform gaming. However, they probably just don't like the idea of having a player possibly leaving their platform to play the game on another platform. I mean, we all know how stubborn Sony can be when it comes to even the thought of another console. But for whatever the real reason is, we'll likely never get the answer from Sony, which is a shame because it pretty much binds the PlayStation Dreamlight Valley players from having the chance of playing on anything else when every other platform has the ability to. So hopefully this can change in the future and you know they let everyone that plays Dreamlight Valley have the same experience, but we'll just have to wait and see what the future holds for Dreamlight Valley on PlayStation. So what do you guys think about Dreamlight Valley on PlayStation, man? Feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, if you like on the video, subscribe, check out the Patreon if you're interested. And I'll see you on the next one.